Okie dokie, welcome back everybody. Last time we got one more section done. They are getting more and more elaborate. I guess what it was is like, these are the simpler ones and this is the first like really elaborate one. But there was less misdirection in it than there was in the second one. Maybe, I think like we'll start, you know, blending those two ideas together and probably adding more and more complicated stuff in as well. Next chapter, The Cursed Inheritance. Hmm. Okay, are we going to be visiting each of the siblings or the nephew? The, the murder at the Little Mermaid. Okay. Let's do it. I'm really enjoying this. This is excellent. Um, the murder at the Little Mermaid. What is this? Where to stay, I guess? There are beds. Could it be an inn or something? With rooms? A trap on the ceiling. Somebody went through the ceiling. Trapped on the ceiling. Is there, I think there may, may only be one. Oh no, there's a downstairs. Okay. Oh, curious. Why did that bugger give me a note when he knows damn well I can't read? It's not a nice word to, 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 to use to describe somebody. Um, give me a note when he knows damn well I can't read. Okay, you can't read. You can lie low for a couple of days at the old oarsman's place down at the docks. You can lie low for a couple of days in the old oarsman's place down in the docks. Okay. An old rusty half of shears. Okay, just one side of some shears. A piece of stale bread. I mean, that looks very stale. All right. You're just out there carrying some sticks on your back or something? Okay. Oarsman, you were given a note. Uh, okay, sure, whatever. An empty bed, not warm. Empty bed, not warm. So nobody's stayed in it recently. Flowers. Door's not open. <clears throat> like, who am I in this? <laughs> Just a, an observer. The door does not open. Drop door on the ceiling. Flowers. Blue flowers, white and yellow flowers. Revenge. R R. I don't think I have an R R yet. Rest and relaxation, and revenge. <laughs> the three R's. Okay. The man is not breathing. I, I could have guessed to be honest. Okay, you look like you've been stabbed a few times. A walking cane. A ring with a ruby. Who had the ruby in the previous one? Two people did, right? I think so. I'm actually curious to go double check. Bruce chapter here. You had one. No, you had one. And then you had one? Yeah. Curious. Curious. All right. I do really appreciate that I can just jump out and jump back in. It's like nothing's changed. To my dear. Morris. So, this is the Oprah Din watch. <laughs> the watch is ticking. All right, it's 25 past two <clears throat> in the morning, I would guess, because the moon's up. I mean, and the moon's visible is the more important point. This is the box that had the um, it's a music box? Huh. But I think that is the same box that was on the floor here. No, that's a different box. I think. It's got a strap. Oh, oops. Let me do that. I'd like to be able to scroll here to go to the next chapter. Um, 
Was it this I was looking at? Yes. Oh, yeah. So it is that box. And then there's this box inside it. Okay. So the box was there. I was just looking at the wrong one. And this is like a music box that maybe had the golden idol in it. That would be my guess. A washing bowl filled with slightly bloody water. Oh, I wonder if the, the, the gem on the front of the idol changes color depending on what spell was cast or something. A washing bowl filled with slightly bloody water. Okay. Dear Proud Beast Master, I have attended our departed brother's send-off and accepted the keepsake that he bestowed upon our brotherhood in his will. Interesting. So that's part of some Proud Beast thing or something, whatever that means. Some kind of brotherhood. And so I think this this is... Willard Williams. <laughs> that wasn't your name. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, you. Uh, Willard Wright. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that's who I'm dealing with here then. And you died. Because that is your, your box as well. And this is about having received the uh, Golden Idol. I shall, I shall send this letter tomorrow, September 10th. I hope it will reach you without delay. And then the previous one was... Not too soon before that. Um, although it could be a different year. I mean, maybe I should remember what year it was. 1786. 1786. Um, seven, okay, 7th to 10th. I hope it will reach you without delay. Already it is midnight, I'll retire to my bed, for this has been a long day. May Gryphon awaken. Okay, there's some cult thing going on here. Proud Beast Initiate. Okie dokie. I assume the water's not supposed to have blood in it, and it's from you, or I don't know. Although, wait, so you've written Revenge, RR, on the wall in your own blood, or somebody else? It looks like you have. With the walking cane? Possibly not. Or somebody, somebody else has done it, right? Revenge RR. I think so. Why are you still yellow? Oh, oh okay, there's a name to take, okay. And the other window, hello. Shards of glass lie in the mud. Okay, this window's broken. Alarm, alarm, I break in. Watchman number two, Henry Parker. Okay. Watchman's Lantern, okay. So you probably are just Henry Parker. Whoa. Oh. Watchman's Alarm Rattle. Ah, okay, that's what that is. Watchman's Spear. Okay, this place has Watchmen. Watchmen. I think that's everything up here. Henry Parker with a spear. Oh! Wait, was that downstairs? There's a stairs? A sure, I guess that could be like a banister. I don't know. Okie dokie. Right, well, so, a bunch of people. Tell me, what does that man have that I lack? Seven pence. <laughs> Potentially money. A key. A hand of cards. A small sword. Key? Okay, the key's gonna be relevant. Key for what? Hand of cards. Uh, did the boxes have a lock? This one may or may not have done. May or may not have done, I don't know. Uh, so... Wait, so, I, was I finished with you? Yeah. So these folks are playing cards. Be calm, John. He was a perfect gentleman. He bought me a drink and then retired upstairs. Okay, okay. Hand of cards. To Annie, you are beautiful like a rose. For you, I will take any blows. Annie, you are 
Like a glass of wine, your hair is very fine. I'll find gold in a mine if that makes you forever mine. <laughs> your piglet's full of love. Mm, lovely. And another key. Two shillings and four pence. A stiletto blades. Huh. 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 I mean, it could be, I mean, it looks like exactly the same thing, but it could just be a reused asset. Or is there nothing like that in this? Should I assume it's linked? So this clue has been added to the thinking panel. I love how there's a thinking panel. <laughs> As a supporter of Thinky Games, I appreciate any game that has a thinking panel in it. Is there an RR? No. So these are scores or hands or something. AGWW, -W, Walt Whitman, ME, or Walter White, AG, oh, AG, 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 JB, JB, AB, OB, ME. So it's like a game, it's games of cards. And the people have changed each time. Whatever your name is, yes. Say yes. Okay. Um, it's you upstairs. He's died. All right. I'll look at that in more detail afterwards. I think I need to know more. Just steal the next one. It's all luck anyway. Wait. Aren't you? You are the. Um, uh, what's your name? Remember you, as an agent of our trading company, have to reflect its values to the fullest. Never be late. The client leaves the port on the 10th. Be persuasive. Do not take no for an answer. We must get the client's product. Okay. Be effective. Once you have the product, deliver it to me immediately with the servant boy. Most importantly, no matter what you do, be mindful of our reputation. Our names must remain spotless. Aren't you... That guy? Yeah, you definitely are that guy. Uh, what was your name? David Gorin. So you went to the same place to stay, I guess? Weren't you like heading somewhere in particular? Visit my nephew. This is three days later though, so... Okay. Okie dokie, piecing things together bit by bit. <clears throat> that is totally you. I don't think I recognize the other two though. I think they might be a couple. So you're supposed to collect something from a client who's leaving on a boat on the 10th, which is today. Okay. Our names must remain spotless. So, hmm, okay. And the cards. I like how I don't get to see the cards. The key. They've all got keys. Oh, to their rooms, probably. A dagger. Three shillings and two pence. They're all staying here then. That would be my guess. Oh, mother, forgive me. I will never gamble with something so dear to me again. Is that... What? Okay, sure. A violin. A very boxy violin, a key. Uh, Navaya folding blade. Navaha? Whatever that means. At the Little Mermaid Inn. Amazing Evan's musical performance. Okay, Evan. Hello, Evan. On September 9th, event shall commence circa 11 p.m. Aren't we on the 10th? Or do I not know that? Where did I see 10th up here? I shall send this letter tomorrow, September 10th. Okay, so it's the 9th. Your, the port thing's not happening until tomorrow. Okie dokie. So Evan is performing today at 11 p.m. It feels odd to use the word circa for a time of day. Normally it's like years, like a, like a rough year. <laughs> Wanted, ah. 
Robert Redruth, RR, escaped convict, reward 50 pounds. Revenge, RR. Okay, it's a very bearded, very scary looking man. Yeah, you look like you could be bearded. So whoever's, I think what's happened is, although there's a latch on the window. I was going to say that somebody's climbed through, killed you, although the window's open, I guess, so. There's a reason it's telling me about the ceiling, though. The latch is closed, so somebody can't have... Somebody could have come in that way, killed, left that way. But then why are you on this side of the building? Well, I guess your footsteps are coming from that side. Assuming you're the, the murderer, which I don't know you are. Um, bye down. Tab. Oh, okay. We have names. Blair, Breach, and Green. AG, green, green, green. Green is the lady, because it seems like she probably played cards with uh, Walt Whitman. <laughs> it's not the name, but whatever. Um, green. Four glasses of wine. <laughs> I was gonna say gallons. <laughs> I assume it's glasses. Um, there are three cups of wine here. Breach, three glasses of wine. Blair, one glass of wine. John. 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 J.B. Joined after WW. John. Ah, oh, they're both being with B, don't they? Breach and Blair. Well, but you are, I know who you are. You are, what was your name? This does look like a partial game as well. It's like part way through of something. I don't know what, not particularly familiar with card games. So if it is like a real thing, what was your name? Your name was David DG. Are you going under a false name? You are, aren't you? Huh. It's definitely the same person. Oh, it's okay. Okay, I can take the names from here. Cool. September the 9th, Dandelion Room. Okay, the one on the right. Yeah, Dandelions for sure. So Dandelion Room must be WW. Willard right. One night. Forget me not room or left Ash Blair. Ash Blair. A B. You, apparently. Uh, unless... There's also an Obi. Who's Obi? One Kenobi. <laughs> AG, AG, AG. That's you. W, W, I know. J, I know. John. M, E, O, B, A, B. It's possible I just... just I'm just not going to know that. Hmm. Ash Blair. Oh, Ash Blair. Ash Blair. You are using a fake name. Ash Blair. You're using the name on your tobacco. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay. This is fun. This is fun. Where did that blasted boy go? I really need a piss. Language. Dear Oscar Boyton. September 8th. It has come to our attention that the good owner of the Little Mermaid offers services to those who want to trans... Oh, Oscar Boyton, OB. Trans want to transfer products that are less agreeable to the authorities. So you are whoever you're following? 
I will come by in three days if you still have some spare space in your gin barrels and you're willing to earn extra money. Reach out to me. Okay, let me reread that. This is yesterday. Dear Oscar, wait, you have this on you? Okay. Come to our attention that the good owner of the Little Mermaid, aren't you the owner? You're behind the counter. Offers services to those who want to transfer products that are less agreeable to the authorities. I'll come by in three days. The 11th. If you still have some spare space in your gin barrels and you're willing to earn an extra money, reach out to me. Okay. Okay. A large kitchen knife. Partially peeled lemon. That's kind of curious. What's that mean? A ring of various keys. Okay. Yep. You are the innkeep. The doors to the streets are shut with a latch. So nobody can come in. That's kind of... I would be concerned if my innkeeper latched the front door. Like, I guess, I don't know, how, do, how would it work? I don't know, maybe that's normal actually. <laughs> I guess I'm just used to places having separate, I mean, but they do have separate, yeah, but I guess he needs to lock this place up. Sure. Isn't there somebody around all night? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I've got all the clues, apparently. I think I know a bunch of names. I believe that you are... Willard. Right. Um, I believe that... Well... <laughs> I know what name you're going by at the moment, but I don't believe it's your actual name. Okay. Um, Oscar Boyd? No, I wasn't sure about that, was I? You are Evans. Somebody Evans or Evan? I mean, Evans is normally a surname. Evan without an S. Amazing Evans. Well, it's Amazing Evans's. Musical performance, okay. Oh, oh, are you on here as well? M-E. M-E. Do I have an M? Yes. Where did I see that? Where did I see that? Here. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you have this if that belongs to him? It might not. I know OB, I know AB, Ash Blair. I guess I'm supposed to assign Ash Blair to you even though I know what's going on. Um, John. Uh, I don't remember what's John. B. You're on here. No, you're not on here. Where are you? Ash Blair Breach, then. Okay. Nice. Yep. Hmm. You are Annie Green, AG. Your name was just Henry Parker, right? Henry. Parker, let me just double check that. Like that was pretty clear. Henry Parker, yeah. You recognize there'd been a break in or a break out. Cause that's latched. So that's the weapon, I'm gonna guess. You can lie low for a couple of days in the old oarsman's place down at the docks. Why did that bugger give me a note when he knows damn well I can't read? Okay, who gave you the notes? What else do I need? Well, okay, I think I know who you are, right? You're RR. I guess you are Oscar Boyton, because that's the only name I have left. The Oscar Boyton, it's come to our attention that the good owner of the Little Mermaid offers services. 
Are you just referring to Oscar in the... Like, as though you're not writing to him? Maybe, yeah, that maybe is what's going on there, okay. So then, do I really think this? In which case, I have something interesting to piece together. I apparently really think that. Why this here? Watch is ticking. It's in a box of its own? Wait, what is this? It's two separate things, I guess. Okay, let's have a look at... Oh, okay. Uh, what? Oh, I see. It's just the names, right? Um, really? Is it just the names? I assume that must be what I'm doing, because also the colour of the thing means, like, what kind of item it is. Kind of odd, because, like, most of them are obvious, right? Once I've got the names down. Uh, A, B, Ash, Blair. So the innkeeper also played. Oh, I wonder if you, like, lost it in the game. Possibly. Oh, uh, this one. Apparently. Wait, what? No? That just moves it. Okay. <laughs> Everything is filled incorrectly. Cool. So, Robert Redruth crept into Willard Wright's room through the... I think I'm supposed to use the fact that the door was latched, the window was latched, through the trapdoor, while... Um, John, Breach, and Annie, Green, and Ash, Blair, but I know you're not who you say you are. And when you were described in the, in the other chapter, you were described as somebody with like many talents, which made, which made me think like, are you some kind of, I don't know, um, do you have other things going on? Are you a spy or a assassin or something? Playing cards with loud music. A fight ensued upstairs and... Willard Wright got stabbed with... I mean, probably this sheer, but let's, let's have a think about that just in case it could be anything else. Three stabs. I mean, it's gonna be the thing that you have, aren't you, right? That. Like, why would it be any of the other things that other people have got? Am I being misled? I don't think I'm being misled. There's a key on the inside of this door. There's not on this side, that's a very large key. <laughs> it really wants me to see that key. The door has been locked from the inside, that's, that's all that is. You've gone into your room, you've locked it. Can I figure out whose room this is? Empty bed, not warm. Oh, I know, it's the um, forget-me-nots. Ash Blair, you. The dagger. Give, give me a note. Oh, I think I'm being misled here somehow. Gave me a note. You can lie low for a couple of days in the old oarsman's place down at the docks. At the docks, which is where Ash Blair is going tomorrow, or the port, I guess. Stale bread. Is that just to show that you're um, like kind of poor and on the run because you are wanted? Okay. 
I might be being misled. There's a coat on the bed, some shoes. Do I recognize those shoes? Could they be your shoes from the previous chapter? Uh, not exactly. No. These are like a bigger rib at the top. Well, I know whose room it is, Ash Blair, right? This is... N this door does not open, even though it's not... So you've locked it from the outside, of course, and taken your key with you. So whoever's gone into here has either come through the window or come through the trapdoor. Now, there's two possibilities as far as I'm concerned. Ash Blair let you in. Okay, but why would you go out the window? Why would you go out this window if you could crawl back and reopen this window? Why would you do that? Revenge RR. Why would RR write revenge? Are you being framed? Are you being framed? Did Ash Blair do this? Write RR. Where have the shears come from? like a sneaky person, don't you? Interesting. Remember, you as an agent of our trading company have to reflect its values to the fullest. Trading company. Client leaves port on the 10th. So you have the product, deliver it to me immediately with the servant boy. Hold on, so what did your thing say here? Your letter. It's come to our attention that the good owner of the little moment offers those who want to transfer products that are less agreeable to the authorities. I'll come by in three days. Three days from September the 8th. If you still have some spare space in your gin barrels and you're willing to earn extra, extra money, reach out to me. Okay, but you're here on the 10th or the 9th? This is the 9th, isn't it? Yeah. You've got your own key, which is for the top left door. Immediately with the servant boy. Was that note from... No, I don't know. Piglet. Like you two are clearly not actually involved in the murder. Did somebody smash the window to make it look like... And it was smashed from the inside, the glass has gone outwards. Somebody on the outside has smashed this window, the glass, sorry, on the inside has smashed this window to make it look like somebody broke in. Yep, RR is being framed. I totally believe that now. So I I think I'm about to fix the the the, the, the false information I put in through the trapdoor. Well, yep, 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 yep. Playing cards with our music. Uh, no. While <laughs> okay, you yeah, are smart. This is cool. So Ash Blair. So it's when you went up, so OB. Ah, oh, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. I know this is right now. It just feels incredibly correct. Find the student upstairs and Willard Wright got stabbed with a... Oh, well, is it the dagger that... that you have? Hmm. 
But what else would it be? Nothing else here is stabby. And you have a knife on you. Uh, you have a dagger on you. That's, I think, all I've got, so I'm gonna have to say yes. Yeah! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> a man going by the name of Ash Blair crept into Willard's room through the trapdoor to steal something important. When he opened the music box, it woke Willard up and a fight ensued. Oh, open the music box, I see. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is really satisfying. This is so satisfying. Attempt to frame an escaped convict. Oh, so good, okay. I feel pleased with myself about that. I knew something was wrong. Good morning, Inkeeper. I heard a man was murdered here a week ago. Aye, a deranged convict did him in. Now bugger off. Tell me more about the evening when Willard Wright died. I'll make it worth your while. Okay. Curious. Is this somebody from the Brotherhood? Strange art style. Well, no, strange text box style, given the art. Like the art's pixelated and got dithering and stuff, and then the text box is just like, eh, no, here's just a, a clip art speech bubble. So they think the convict did it. Oh, I'm so glad I realized that they were being framed. That's so satisfying. Oh, this is cool. Okay, uh, next one's gonna be called The Intoxicating Dinner Party. Oh, is that Rose? Is Rose going to die, maybe? Ah, oh, fascinating. Okay. Looking forward to every single bit of this. <laughs> so see you next time. Goodbye.